Hello everyone. Welcome to the continuation of our Halloween event that we did the other night on Halloween. And uh, we were playing Halo Spartan Assault. And uh, Angel, what's up? Hello, how are you? Joe After Work and Almighty, thank you guys for hosting me. Appreciate it. Angel, how was your day today? I hope you're doing well. Now we're going to be starting to get into more Halo stuff. we got Thanksgiving coming up and we're going to do a full stream of all the Halo games. At least one through five, hopefully. Uh, I know some people are like, what about Reach? What about Reach? We'll get to Reach for sure, but I just want to stick to the, the core Master Chief games for, uh, for Thanksgiving Day. Oh, snap. So, um... The, the storyline in this one is that Roland is kind yeah, of uh, nice work, guiding you through uh, battles that Sarah Palmer and uh, Edward Davis has been in. And they are... Uh, Sarah Palmer and Edward Davis are two Spartans. Most of these missions we play as Sarah Palmer. Um, and she is a, uh, a really badass Spartan. I think she's part of the Spartan 4 program. And there's a ceasefire that's called at the end of Halo 3. And that ceasefire is being ignored by this particular group of Covenant. We made it! Oh, wait. Enter the army and get a jetpack. Oh. Whoa, sweet. And a lot of these things, like uh, the battle for Drathius V, uh, and the moon that we fought on, which I'm blanking on the name for right now, was in the earlier missions. Um, we're Right now we're on Faraday, I think. Um, yeah. But we're still on Drathius V, but in that area. So the Needler, if you're, that gun is pretty awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, it's a... Uh, it basically, these purple spikes are like almost like heat signatures. They like they come after you, or heat seekers. They come after you, and then what they do is a uh, once one sticks you, the other ones all follow where that one sticks, and uh, and it's it's pretty awesome actually, because uh, when when enough of them stick together, like you know three four of them stick together, they they explode. They they there's a a reaction with them being in close proximity to each other. The uh, sticky grenades, which is what the what the Covenant use, which are these like little glowy blue orbs that stick to you, and uh, and so the cool thing is that in the other Halo games and in this one, if one gets stuck to you, you can like run up to uh, two other enemies, and then as it explodes, it'll get them too, which is pretty cool. Just humans have regular grenades. I guess grenade. I guess even though we invented like uh, well actually we don't have. I think they're pretty clear about the type of weapons humans have in this game compared to the aliens. Uh, so like, you know, humans have like they sh we still shoot bullets. We haven't made like laser guns or anything too extreme. And we have some things. There's some like uh, rail guns and stuff like that that we've had in other Halo games. But for the most part, we're still primitive maybe in comparison. Which I kind of dig that. I, I dig that they did that. But then as you, uh, you know, play through the game, you can pick up enemy weapons. And they have, like, these crazy alien tech, which is really awesome. All right. Heal up, heal up. Oh, I got a shield. Okay. I don't want the shield anymore, though. Where is he? There he is. Are you dead? Escort the remaining people to the extraction point. Oh, great. Oof, all right. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Okay, okay. Are you the extraction point? Yay, we made it. Finally, D2 is done. <laughs> Salt on the Covenant landing zones. Drathius V was ill-prepared for a full evacuation. Many ships had been destroyed in the initial Covenant assault. UNSC command estimated that at best 40% might reach safety. The rest would die. Spartan Palmer declared those odds unacceptable and hatched a plan to abuse the rapidly degrading Covenant morale to overrun their landing zones and confiscate their spacecrafts. 
Holy shit! What an awesome, crazy chick. <laughs> the Covenant forces stationed at the landing zones were completely surprised by the bold attack, already displaying cracks in their morale. Due to earlier losses, the Covenant forces quickly gave up the landing zones. Shit. Let's go get us a landing zone. I like Sarah Palmer. She's a really neat character. In, uh, I think it's Halo 4. There's like a mini game or like a side game DLC or something. Called, uh, called Spartan Ops, where you play as her. Wow, this thing is a beast. Wow. Yeah, and I mentioned this, I, actually, I just found out that they made a sequel to this game. I had no idea. Um, it's for the Windows Phone, which I have, too. Uh, so... The other day I got like a, or actually it was this morning, I looked up Halo on the App Store on the Windows phone and I saw this, uh, they made a sequel called Spartan Strike. And uh, it takes place after Halo 4. And it's only $2.99. I would love to get it, but I kind of want to stream it. And, uh, oh, what up? I kind of want to stream it, but I don't know how to stream it from my phone. But we'll have to figure that out. Yeah, oh. Nice. Work, nice. <laughs> I love that he says dog. I don't know why. It's the year 2553. I feel like he's bringing dog back. I gotta really learn... Um, I will say that's one of the things about sci-fi and stuff and, like, and Halo in general is that... Um, some of the information doesn't stick with me the way it does Resident Evil, because I'm more of a like story and character-driven thing, uh, like person, and uh, so things like oh, like that image, you know, uh, that means you have this kind of shield or or you know whatever. I'm not good at remembering that kind of stuff, unfortunately. And I think Halo has a lot of cool designs, from planets to uh, characters to spaceships. Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Whew, that was a hard mission. Kitty, how are you tonight? Uh, we're in here with Angel. I think it's just the two of you. Just us girls hanging out. And we're playing as Sarah Palmer, who is the main character in this game. For the Halo, from the Halo franchise. So now we gotta escape from Faraday, which is the, the section of Drathius 5 that we're on. Defend the elephant while it crosses the bridge. Oh, that doesn't sound hard at all. Whoa. Dang. All right. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be one of those missions. Don't you dare. Whoa. That was cool. Let's get this uh, sticky grenade over here. Nice. That's not what I wanted to do. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got to run. We got to run. Oh. Whew. Whew. We did it. We effing did it. Kilimanjaro. I need another gun. There we go. Needler. I'll take it. Ow. Damn it. Oh my god. Guys, there's like there's no way we're going to win. Yeah, there's no way. They're just coming right for our men. Stay off my... This guy needs to go. Whew.
I need ammo like a <laughs> like a mother. All right, 30 seconds. Holy shit. Did we get that ogre? We sure did. I mean, not the ogre, but the brute. They got me. They got me. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> he killed me. He's gonna kill me right at the end there. Holy shit, that was that was intense. Alright. So alright, we'll play five more missions in since we got through that one. Um, god, that one was a beast though. Holy shit, that one was hard. Although the Covenant forces were broken, the UNSC command wanted the Covenant leader, Merv Bowl, eliminated. Turning to the moon to finish the job. Oh shit, we're going back to the moon. So we were on Drathius 5, like, fighting. So the thing is, this isn't a lost cause. Like, when the Covenant first showed up in the Halo games, they were they were a, th a serious threat, and they were kicking the shit out of us. Luckily, we already had the Spartan program in development to fight insurrectionists, and then we ended up using those Spartans to fight, you know, these alien forces. This has taken place between Halo 3 and 4, where there was a ceasefire called between the humans and covenant because they learned to work together. But some groups of the covenant, uh, this group in particular led by Merg Vol, is like, nah, fuck that. We hate humans and we are not going to side with them. That's beneath us. We can wipe them out. So this guy and his forces have decided to act on their own. So now that master chief is missing, he's like, Hey, even a more perfect time because their best soldier is missing in action. We have no idea where he is, so let's attack. And then, luckily, we also had already started Spartan 3 and 4 programs. So Sarah Palmer is a Spartan 4, I believe. and Or maybe she's a 3. I can't remember. She's one of the two. And she kicks a shit ton of ass. So luckily, she's able to step up to the plate and fight off this this Covenant uh, group that is uh, attacking Drathius 5. And uh, now that we've fought their forces off on the, on the main planet, we're heading back to the moon where his base has been kind of forged and his main ships are and we're gonna go kick his ass all right find Porgval's phantom all right so Porgval is uh one of the generals i think of mergval so we're gonna go look for his shit whoa what up Whew. i wish you could pick up the swords in this one i love the swords in the uh, main halo game Alright, we'll take the rocket launcher, even though I suck with it. Secure the Phantom's landing zone for hijacking. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. How long is it going to take to hijack this thing? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness. Where? Oh. Ooh. Alright, a jackal. Good. Give me more uh, Needler info, uh, ammo. Dang it! So close! Six seconds left. Oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, we got through him. We did it. We effing did it. Holy shit, we did it. Wait, why am I still around? Board the Phantom, board the Phantom, board the Phantom. Holy shit. <laughs> we almost, 
We almost died there at the end because I'm stupid again. All right, let's do this. Eliminate all enemies. Oh, finally, a normal mission. Give me that needler. <laughs> Sneak attack. All right. Okay. Almost out of needler ammo. We got to pick some up out here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, we did it. Oh shit, what up, Wraith? gonna do a little grunt. Whew. Fan versus tank. Here we go. Let's do this. Took your ride, son. Next, I'll take your girl. Hello, are you a general? You are. I killed you. You're dead now. You're a dead general. Uh, Kitty says, I love sweets. What the hell just fell? What is that? Is there a ghost on my house? Ghost, show yourself. Um, Kitty says, I love sweets. I, uh, Almighty says, I have a saying. I am so hungry, I eat the shit out of a dead cat's ass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he says, that, that's hungry, I would say, LOL. Kitty says, LOL. That's, uh, that's beyond hungry, dude. That's like, ah, I, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Ugh. Dead cat's ass. I mean, a living cat, maybe, but a dead one. Yep. Whew. Mission accomplished. Son of a bitch, that was a beast. All right, Murgval was convinced he had been chosen by his gods to wield the power contained within the Forerunner structure. Having spent considerable resources to unlock its secrets, Vol managed to activate the structure's emergency defenses. With the deadly defenses at his command, Vol had become extremely dangerous. Unable to contact Spartan Davis since landing on Drathius IV's moon, Palmer prepared to battle Vol on her own. Vol's exact location had not been difficult to find. The direct area at the foot of the Forerunner structure had littered, was littered with a trail of dead UNSC bodies and soldiers. Now there was one lone Spartan ready to finish the fight. Fuck yes, Sarah Palmer. Let's kick a motherfucker. Well, let's see how fast this one goes. If this goes by pretty fast, maybe we'll play the last five missions. Oh, what up, bro? What up, bro? Take down the cult leader's shields. Okay. Wow, that guy, his weapon is not fucking around. Oh, why did I run over here by the exploding tanks? You better die. Oh, shit! What do I do here? Oh, we did it. Oh. We just had to bring him down to like zero health 20 times. 
All right. Why did he... Really, he dropped a, a, a pistol. Oh. We're gonna execute the mother... Oh, shit! Execute the cult leader. Sarah Palmer is not fucking around. Holy shit. Achievement unlocked. Terminated. 10 G. 10 points. Uh, teabag him, almighty says. <laughs> teabag him. <laughs> I did, that was way worse, man. I, I put a pistol to the back of his skull and blew his brains out. After she managed to eliminate Merc Bowl and avenge Spartan Davis, Spartan Palmer successfully sabotaged the Forerunner device, eliminating the threat once and for all. Good work, Spartan. You completed the full cycle of Drathius V battle records. That's it. History lesson over. Oh, that's the end? The other Spartans. I'll see you around.